Hi guys, this is Math Skills TV, and today I'm going to talk about one of the ongoing projects that I have going on, which is to help everyone to build their own PCs. Today we'll be looking at the Intel i7 5820K edition, which basically allows us to overclock it. It has uh, awesome 6 cores, 3.3 GHz base frequency with 28 PCI Express lanes and an LGA 2011 version 3 socket. We must first consider that with this type of CPU, with the 5820K, uh, it only supports DDR4 memory. What does that mean? It means that you have to build for an x99 system, which means that you have to get this CPU, you have to get a DDR4 RAM, and you will have to get a motherboard which supports the 2011V3 socket. You are future-proofing your PC with this CPU. As I mentioned earlier, it has 6 cores, which means multitasking is where this CPU will shine. Uh, the base clock of 3.3 GHz is not amazing, but if you need to, you can overclock it. Uh, at the moment for my uh, build, I have it overclocked to 4.2 GHz, and it's running perfectly fine. You can also notice in the next shot, when I actually open the CPU for a closer inspection, you can see a little triangle at the bottom left corner of the chip. That bottom left triangle indicates how the CPU is going to be installed into the specific socket. So now on to the good stuff. Uh, I will be doing some preview of the CPU running World of Warcraft. Uh, but right now I just want to get some of the idle temperatures and uh, idle temperatures for the CPU. So I will be using the CPU ID hardware monitor. But I've noticed lately that the monitor does not seem to give a completely accurate readings of the temperatures. Uh, and this seems to happen after I overclock, so I overclock the CPU to 4.2 gigahertz. Um, so I won't trust this at the moment. But I also have I also have uh, AI suit 3 running as well, which is basically what Asus provides you with their motherboards. And you can see here. CPU is running at 33 uh, degrees Celsius, which is very respectable for an idle uh, idle uh, state. We can also check how much of the power CPU is using. At the moment it's only using 10%, uh, which is mainly going from the open OBS basically. I also have my video editor open, so I actually have multiple tabs open. And I'm going to see how well this CPU is going to uh, fare. So right now we are in World of Warcraft. I am here logged in with my Druid. I'm not doing too many things at the moment. Uh, my video settings are set to quite high, if not the highest. Most of it is set to high, some of it is set to ultra, which is uh, one of the highest settings you can get at the moment, anyway. So I'm just uh, chilling here, doing not doing very much. I'm also recording this at 720p at 60 FPS. Uh, so let's see how things are going. I have the hardware monitor, which is not always very correct. It's only showing me here at 29 degrees. Uh, my AI suit is where the stuff happens. Uh, CPU has gone to 37 degrees. Uh, it's increased a bit and based on the task it's only using 30% of the CPU power uh, which is quite incredible uh, I have a lot of things open I have a lot of programs open at the moment um, and it's only using well it's gone up to 36-34% which is which is really shows you the power of a 6 core CPU uh, I have this overclock remember I have this overclock to 4.2 gigahertz uh, with DDR4 RAM and ASUS motherboard, you can also tell this from uh, ASUS AI suit 3. All I can say is that it's a, it's a very good CPU. Uh, it fits me well because I like to do I like to stream and game and record at the same time. So this helps me a lot. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe or like the video down below. If you have any feedback. Uh, please leave a comment. I am planning on doing more of these videos. Uh, so I'll see you in the future.